In the meantime, we've got the result of the first uh, heat of the 5,000. Bauman, Germany, 1330.59. Malafi in second place, Hanek third, Bakila four, Molina five, Rob Denmark in sixth place, 1337. Only the first four certain to qualify. So we'll have to see whether Denmark gets through as one of the fastest losers. Only three of the fastest losers go through, but it's doubtful. Well, there's the part of the lineup for the second heat. John Nuttall of Great Britain, wearing 556, five, makes his bid to go through to the final on Sunday. Harry Grabris Lassie, world record holder, does not start. Number 445 after winning gold in the 10,000 meters. Bulami, Balinga of Zambia, he doesn't go. Some familiar names. Kugan of the United States and Di Napoli of Italy. Stefko of the Slovak Republic. It's a big field of 14 starters. 12 and a half laps of this track. First four and the three fastest losers over both of the, or all three of the first round heats go through to the final. <laughs> it's a little bit like a false start. It was extraordinary. <laughs> it took four or five repeat shots to get uh, number 873, Khalid Bulami of Morocco, to stop. I think they should just go for the five thousand meters. Just say, ready, steady, go, and let them go. I mean, goodness me. It's, um, he says, I can't hear the start. Well, we had a lap short in the marathon. In the women's marathon now we've now had a false start in the 5000 meters i was talking to steve monaghetti yesterday and asked him about that uh, did, did, I, did he think they would run the correct distance he says well, we're going to run a lap short i'd rather run the big lap short than the lap in the stadium short well for the second time i settle down and hopefully get them underway Ismail Karui, the Kenyan, wearing 811, doing his exercises in the background. The reigning champion. The 12 and a half laps of this 5,000 meters. This is the second heat of this first round. And uh, we'll see who wants to take this one on. Karui on the inside. And uh, De Napoli coming across. Tall figure. The Italian. 381 Guerra of Ecuador. In the fourth place. Well, Brendan, settling down now. Well, Ismail Karui will always provide a front runner if you're short of one. He loves to run in the front. He loves to run changing the pace. He loves to run in spurts. But it's, this is the most casual opening I've seen from him in even a heat or a semi-final in a, in a championship. He normally runs, whenever he goes to the front, he normally runs really quicker than this. First 400 meters in 65 seconds. And they'll know that the qualification on the fastest times could, e could easily come from this heat because the first one, 13.37, if that's all you've got to do, then you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be at the world level if you can't run 13.37. Well, Stefko of the Slovak Republic taking on the mantle of uh, leader. Irish Karen there too from Cork. He's at Harvard College. In the third place, next to DiNapoli and... Uh, John Nuttall, who really, Brendan, had a superb uh, season last season, particularly in the uh, Commonwealth Games. But he had a marvellous two championship season, he really did. Well, the reigning champion, Karui, settling in in second place, and now the pace just pushing along just a little, a little bit more respectable now. That was a bit of a disadvantage for Rob Denmark to run the first round because uh, they're sharing the pace here a little bit faster than this this round but the other thing is that they they're all doing a little bit themselves and that makes a lot of sense 
these boys know each other even though they're all from different countries some of them share the same managers and agents and they meet each other a lot on the circuit and they'll have had a little chat beforehand and it's not quite nice to see the international cooperation but there won't be much of that in the later stages Ismail Karoui taking them along now Bulami just behind him on the inside who's run 13 10 this year the Moroccan and then Gennaro Di Napoli who I think is a very very good athlete and if, when he gets it right in a major championship which he's only ever done thinking he will much how pace though he's just drifting to the Chefco, but they're all there start pace a little more Bulami in place we in four Nuttall in Eric Hugan has been six now, head of the fun uh, Abdella Car, who was four European champion in Helsinki last year. The nap is comfortable. Natal in a good position, settled in. The Russian is uh, Kasheyev, sixth in the European final as well. So there's lots of uh, experience in finals. But this fella is the reigning champion from the Marraquet district. I remember in 1994 when he won that uh, Aberdeen five-kilometer race out kicking uh, Rob Denmark. What a marvellous tussle that was on the roads. He's got a sprint finish. He's very fast. Bulami now tucking in in the, a third place. And Mark Carroll, the Irishman, is coached by Ray Tracy, older brother of John. He's in third place. Bulami in fourth. Then Guerra in fifth. And Nuttall in sixth. Coogan in seventh. The Frenchman, Bayard behind him now moving up and then uh, Kasheyev behind him and that's four laps in four minutes 22 seconds which is a shade faster than the first round and we're looking at the young Irishman Mark Carroll most of these Irishmen when they go up to the States they improve between the ages of 18 and 21 and then some some of them like John Tracy who's sitting behind us in the Irish commentary box and Sonia Rose Sullivan, who's running tomorrow in the 5,000 metres, they come back and they move on the international circuit and grow up very, very quickly. But Mark Carroll, coached by the brother of John Tracy, Ray Tracy, at um, Providence College in New England. But John just popped his head around on his way up to the commentary box and he said, uh, everything's all right for tomorrow. All the Irishmen have had a meeting and they're all going to bring their Irish flag to support Sonia Rose Sullivan in the women's 5,000 metres. So uh, they're getting ready for party. Young won't be until after the race tomorrow. Well, no change, although the pace is certainly pushed along here. You can set and all up. Yeah, a busy single uh, season fast. It doesn't matter. It passed a third second on that lap meters. Previous lap 54 and 7. And uh, Karu looks to put, taking Bolan along with him. The Napoli in third. And, uh, then Carroll. Behind him, Guerra. And Guerra followed by the Frenchman Behar. Born in Morocco, became a French national in 1992. And not all comfortable in the right place at the right time at the moment. He's on the inside. He'll, uh, it's early days yet, though. And there's John Nuttall in seventh place. Looks over on the inside, and he realizes there's a group of eight of them clear. So he really has to stay in contention. He just has to hang on to the back of this group. Even though Ismail Karoui is pushing the pace along, he's not doing anything savage. He's not doing anything like we've seen him do before. He's not running in bursts. He just keeps pouring it on steady lap 63 seconds for that one a little bit quicker but nothing too dramatic and John Nuttall's grown up in the last two years as an international distance runner and this is his first opportunity on the world stage and there's no better man to test yourself against than young Ismail Karoui John Nuttall there just just biding his time just taking his time his, his finish has improved as well as his strength and uh, there's an awful lot of pressure on the British middle distance runners these days particularly if you look at the overall performances in the championship Six laps. Second hit of this 5,000 metres. Most of the champions for 1,500 metres in the Eurochip to keep in the last world chip in the 1,500 metres. So he's moved up seriously, clearly. But Carew is still leading. Bulami in second place. Napoli in third. Carroll in fourth. And remember, the first four go through by right. Guerra has been sitting on the inside. Uh, Frenchman Behar got a good position and Nuttall in no trouble at all just ahead of Coogan looks very very easy and if he can set himself up and watch the break at the front which may come then he could qualify he has come of age as Brendan Foster was saying his two championships last year were 
superb. Still on the end of that leading group. The 3,000 mark, 3,000 time from the uh, previous heat was 8:22.74. Just to give you some sort of check. Five laps to go. 2:41 for the last uh, thousand meters. 8:7 for 3,000 meters. So Brendan, it's a good deal faster. It certainly is faster. And John Nuttall will be happier at a faster pace because um, some of these athletes, and particularly the rhythm athletes, the ones who get into, into a flow, they don't like to stop and start. They don't like to start off too slowly because sometimes when you start off too slowly, it's quite difficult to lift the pace in the later stages. But there's John Nuttall. His Commonwealth Games medal last year was a real bonus for him. That was a little bit slower lap. John Nuttall still on the back of the group, still in a good position. Looking up on the scoreboard, just using the scoreboard and the modern technical aids quite wisely. But um, he, he needs to look ahead of him rather than up on the scoreboard because all, all the challenges are there. He's just keeping an eye to see what's happening behind him. But uh, I think if he got a little bit more involved now, it would probably, probably suit him more. Eight or nine athletes in contention as they come up to four laps to go in this second heat of this 5,000 meters. Bolami now on the shoulder of Karui. The Napoli, where he's always been, sitting in in third place. They are of uh, France behind him. Then Guerra. Nuttall's there. So is Carroll. And once again, Bolami responsible for pushing it down that back straight. And they stretch again. And Nuttall's got it covered. No break. He's just behind the Irishman. There's Guerra. There's Carroll. There's Nuttall. In a good position to make a move if one is necessary. First four only. Go through by right. And Karui. Another one of the Kenyans winning world junior titles. Coming through to the senior ranks. Has always been up in that leading two. Bulami. Concentrating. Looking at the track. Coming up now to three laps to go. And still six men now in contention. Nuttall's one of them. Guerra's dropped off the end. And uh, the Spaniard Jimenez trying to make up uh, contact with the front group. Just less than three laps to go in the second round of the 5,000 metres. And John Nuttall's moved into a nice position there in fifth place. The leader is Mil Karui, the, re the reigning world champion. On the outside, De Napoli in the blue vest of Italy. Mark Carroll just ahead of John Nuttall. And the Moroccan Bulami on the outside. And those six are pulling away from the, from the Spaniard Jimenez. Well, six of them and John Nuttall's got to take a chance. He's got to find two of them who he can out sprint. And you would look at Ismail Karui and you would look at De Napoli as having good stonewall bets to get through to the next round. So John Nuttall's got his work cut out. He looks as though he looks as though he's sweating up a bit, but he does look in control. He doesn't look too distressed. And Mark Carroll's all aware. He's looking on the inside. He knows what's going on. And he's in good hands with the Tracy family of Ireland. They know as much as there is to know about distance running. And two laps to go, and Karui still hasn't done anything special. And they're going to burn up over the last 600 metres. Well, they're already 11 seconds faster than the first heat, just to give you some comparison. And uh, Karui and Bulami still up there with uh, De Napoli in third place, Carroll in fourth. And Nuttall mustn't get himself trapped in there. He's in fifth place at the moment. Then the Frenchman mustn't let the Frenchman trap him in. A Behar. And here comes uh, Jimenez, the Spaniard on the outside. He was a finalist in the European Championships over 5,000 metres last time. Experience, Brendan. Well, they were. he was very, very lucky there. They slowed down. They allowed him to get back in contention. Mark Carroll took a push to put himself back in a position to attack. And Ismail Karoui, they're just waiting on him to do something. And he isn't doing anything about it. So there's now going to be a fearsome last lap sprint. There goes Behar. He, he's having a go. Mark Carroll on the inside. And now De Navoli comes through. And, and, and Karui's left on the inside. Jimenez is hanging on there. And, and John Nuttall, as he hears the bell go, 12.27. Well, they, they can qualify faster than this, this first heat. But let's see if he can get in a proper qualifying position. Well, De Napoli now seeking to put himself safe. Bulami following him. Carroll behind him. Then Jimenez. Nuttall. Well, look at uh, Kirui on the inside. He's got a gap all the way up the inside. Nuttall responds, recognises the danger, and moves up on the inside of Jimenez. 
De Napoli has the advantage. Carroll going well. Now, Knuckles got to work now. He's got to get in contention off this bend. Only the first four to go through by right. And he's got a lot of work to do. De Napoli ran this well. He's safe in Maynard. Looks to have a bit of a fast burst in him, doesn't he? And Knuckles in a little bit of bother, but it could be a fast time and the fastest qualifier position. De Napoli coming through. Bellamy is in second place. Carroll, then Karui, then Jimenez. Only the first four go through by right. And that's all. That's a much faster second heat. And we'll see. Uh, he should go through on that, surely. Well, he may go through on that, but there's one heat left. But Rob Denmark is now out. He won't be in the final. The Commonwealth champion is out of it.